Hello, welcome to the Gemini Astrology reading for April. And this is for Gemini Sun and Gemini Ascendant. April is a very intense month. Since you are ruled by Mercury, Mercury is going to be going retrograde by the end of the month. So there's a setup for a shift in thinking, but where is this going to come from? We can see a lot about the month just from the Aries new moon, which is intensely connected to Uranus, which represents disruption and change, wanting freedom, wanting to have a stronger sense of life of here I am life, let me go after what I want. And with Pluto, because it's square Pluto, Pluto is that transformation energy. You know, let me get down into something and really make some big changes in my life from the depths. And the big pro protagonist, actually, for you happens to be Mars. Because Mars is going to go retrograde on the 17th of April. Pluto goes retrograde on the 18th of April. And these two planets are closely connected in a way that represents intensity. And when we go back to the new moon and we take a look at what's called the declination, you will see that Mars is at 20, Saturn is at 20, Pluto is at 20 south declination. That means that they are astrological interpretation, that Mars, Saturn, and Pluto, all of these difficult planets, the ones that can get underneath your skin, are in cahoots in some way. So let's go back to this Pluto retrograde with the day before, which is just an intensity day before with Mars going retrograde opposite your sign. So Mars is opposite in Sagittarius, opposite you. Saturn's there too. It represents that people, other people can get underneath your skin. That basically is what it means. And that there can be an antagonistic vibration between you and others and that other people can inspire you. You can feel inspired by other people to go out and what? To go out and do what this vibration of Aries for the Aries new moon is asking us to have more freedom, to be more ourselves, to make some changes, to do something different. It's falling into a sector of your chart that has to do with connection. Where do I want to connect with people? Friends, groups, whatever. That's getting out there and making connections. And there's an adjustment vibe that's going on. So it can have some adjustments with your home life. There could be people that you perhaps live with, or maybe you live alone, but it's family. They may not have a clue about why, you know, why do you want to do this? And that type of, or, or adjustments may be necessary to be able to, in your home life, well, I'll do this then, or time frame, whatever, in order to have more freedom to go out and express yourself in the way you want to be ex expressed. The sun shifts into Taurus on the 19th. That vibe from all that Aries energy, that intensity, it doesn't really let up that much, but it does let up a little bit. It is the beginning. When the sun goes into Taurus, it's the beginning of a phase for you of the cycle, the true month, which really, astrologically speaking, the month begins when the sun changes signs, of releasing and preparing for your new birthday year. So there's a can be a pull to can let me get away, let me have some time for myself, let me just stop thinking so much and relax. Let me allow myself to to relax a little bit. So there is that shift there. We have the Scorpio full moon just a couple of days later on the 22nd. And this is one of the most passionate full moons of the year. Sun and Taurus, very sensual. Moon and Scorpio, that deep passion. And it's vibrating as the sector of your chart for you 
where it's illuminating and seeking to find in balance the busyness of life versus the retreat to life. You know, when I say the busyness, all the things in life that have to get done. You know, I got to get up, I do this, I do that, then I go here, I make this happen, my work, all that stuff, versus that retreat. And the energy of the full moon itself, you can check out the full moon audio, video, has a lot to do with relationships because here Venus is connected with Uranus and it can be wanting something different in a relationship. Wanting so, And it, for you, it can be that you meet somebody new that is a friend, you know, friend slash romance type of a situation or a friend goes into the lover category or a lover goes into the friend category. It can flip either way for you. Mercury, your ruler, is going retrograde on the 28th in Taurus. So that's the sector of rethinking where where can I mess myself up in life and what can I do about it? Is there anything in my life that I'm not seeing? And it is about getting in touch with your intuitive side and your psychic side and the side of the life that we can't put our finger on. It's not, you know, one and one plus two. It's the other side that we just, we sense, but we don't, we can't always explain it. So getting in touch with that intuitive side. And we finish the month with Venus going into Taurus. Venus is in her rulership in Taurus. She's happy there. Yet she is, again, it's a, in the cycle, the Taurus is a sign behind you. Therefore, it is suggesting that this is a time frame. The, the month finishes, and it will continue into May, with a little bit of a message of understanding or connecting with the luxury of life, the quality of life that perhaps you might feel you can't see or you just can't touch. And to be able to embrace that there is something that's beyond what we can normally put our finger on or point to or prove that can bring us that sense of fulfillment in in life. So thanks for listening and have a great April. Uh, and if you appreciate the work I do, please like or subscribe or um, share. Thanks.